on the man is supposed to lower their ga the gaze from. Famous hadith in Sahih Bukhari and Muslim and Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is giving us the solution, one way to combat this problem. This is the sad thing. The Prophet Sallallahu will give us a solution. We don't take the solution, then we come and argue. We want another solution. True story, this young man came to me in Canada. He said, listen, you guys, you guys, he means you, imams, speakers, you people who speak a lot. He said, you guys have to find us a solution for this. He said, it's summer. Women are not dressed very well. We're not able to get married. We have school. We don't have money. This is a big problem. He says, don't tell me fast. Don't tell me be patient. Don't tell me lower the gaze. Tabiyah, what do you want me to tell you? Eat bananas. What do you want me to tell you? You, you just killed all my answers. What else can I tell you? And Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam gave you the solution. You ignore it and you say, give me another one. He gave you the best one. قال صلى الله عليه وسلم this hadith in Sahih Bukhari and Muslim يا معشر الشباب and now look who he's talking to he's talking to the shabab to the young men and of course that includes the young women as well من استطاع منكم الباءة فليتزوج whoever is able to provide الباءة what is الباءة what is الباءة يعني الباءة طبعا now the scholars defined it in the early days but a few bites to sustain you a few bites to keep you alive and something to cover your head. Taban now, is this acceptable now? This, uh, this de definition, this description that I just gave is acceptable at the time of the Prophet Sallam, true? Because people ate little anyways. So if someone here eats this much and I eat this, this much, I don't feel much less than them, right? And if he lives in a tent and he lives in a mud house and I just have, you know, some kind of, you know, you know some kind of shelter, I don't feel also much less. But Taban, it's not acceptable today, right? <laughs> Or what, Shabab? What do you think? Go, if you don't believe me, go knock on an uncle's door. Assalamu alaikum, uncle. I came to ask for your daughter's hand in marriage. Uncle said, MashaAllah, what do you have? He says, I have al ba'a. I have, I know a restaurant, they throw good food at the end of the day. We will go eat from that. And I found a place under the bridge, huh? and we will sit there. It would stop the sun and the rain or something. What do you think the uncle would do? Fadal, come inside. <laughs> He'll ask his wife, bring the stick, please. Yeah? <laughs> we have guests. <laughs> It's not acceptable, right? It's not acceptable. But whoever can provide the bare minimum now to open a home, then فليتزوج, let him get married. فإنه أغض طيب ومن لم يستطع and whoever is not able then طبعا النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم says فإنه أغض للبصر وأحفظ للفرج that marriage is better for the for the gaze for the glance and this is for married people and non-married. يعني when we talk about lowering the gaze, we're not just talking to young men who are single. Married men as well. Because the married man, all day he's looking at images that are haram. These images are airbrushed, photoshopped, digitally mastered and altered. And all day he's looking at this, he's looking at that. He's looking at this, he's looking at that. Then he comes home, he opens, and he sees his wife. And then he's, um, he doesn't look like that one on the television. <laughs> Suddenly he's sad, you know. Feels very bad about this, you know. Yeah, <laughs> we don't know more details, yeah. So it's for everybody. Then, وَمَنْ لَمْ يستطع, And who is not able to provide that? فَعَلَيْهِ بِالصَّوْمْ فَإِنَّهُ لَهُ وِجَاءَ So then, if you're not able to, then fast. And that will be a protection for you. So the shabab who are not married, how many of them fast? Wallahi, we knew shabab in our days. We used to fast every other day. Fast today, break fast tomorrow. Fast the day after, break fast the day after. Like this, for 10 years, 12 years, 15 years. And they didn't have a problem. And typically when you fast, you lower the gaze. Nobody's fasting and looking at haram all day. So you restrain yourself. And you don't want to look anyways. You're hungry, you're tired, no energy. So they would fast every other day for 12 years, for 15 years. Then you get a guy, all day, he's eating gulab jamun. Ras Malai, meat, lamb, you know, curry chicken, nahari chicken, karahi chicken. And then he comes, wallahi, this is difficult. Ya khi, fast, ya khi. Fast. It's not so difficult. Fast. And lower the gaze. Wallahi, for the brothers who are single and for the brothers who are married. If you can, can teach yourself to lower the gaze, you'll have no problems whatsoever. You will go 20 years without marriage. So what's the problem? I don't feel any pressure. Just lower the gaze. Why? Because Allah created the man, he is aroused by looking. Yeah? 
So all day the man's looking at images, 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 images all day. And at the end of the day, he's surprised why I'm very uncomfortable. Yeah, because you're looking all the time. If you can restrain your gaze, you'll see a very, very, very big difference, inshallah.